Hi, I'm Mel Pickup, Chief Executive of Bradford Teaching Hospitals, and welcome to this month's roundup of stories from across the Trust. We started the month with a look at our partners, hearing how support from our local community helps facilitate the amazing work of the Bradford Hospitals charity. We heard from Charity Director Sharon Milner and Mohammed Aslam, a local businessman and member of the charity's new initiative, the 100 Club. We have cycling challenges, running challenges. There's it's a knockout if you want to do some team building and there's the three peaks. Some people like to raise money through all their contacts so they might have a ball or a dinner. It's just a great way to raise money, have a great time. Thank you. In November, we launched the 100 Club, which is aimed at business support. So community hospital versus community and business coming together, which is really exciting. I lived here in BRI, where I had my cardio rest. My nephew died here afterwards with a cancer. Um, my niece was treated and quite a few family. I think we have some responsibility and I would urge every business community people, come on and help our hospital. Thank you, Sharon and Mohammed, and thanks to all our supporters for your time and generosity in raising vital funds for our Bradford Hospitals charity. We also focused on our people, meeting with colleagues who are championing equality, diversity and inclusion. We heard from Kez Hayat, head of EDI, and Spark practitioner Rabina Yassin, and midwife Abby Wilde, who is chair of our LGBTQ plus staff network. Our focus really is embedding and mainstreaming equality, diversity and inclusion within the core functions of the organisation. Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. It's a month where Muslims will fast across the world. We have lots of questions that managers will ask us in Ramadan. Roughly about four weeks before Ramadan starts, we set up an awareness board on the main concourse, just providing more awareness around what we provide. For example, we have a fast pack that we have put together at Bradford. So we have water, we have a packet of dates, we have a Ramadan timetable, we have a disposable prayer mat and we have some Ramadan beads. We've really relaunched, re-energised, got the network back up and running and we're doing some really great things. I think it's really important as a network that we do provide that safe space for our colleagues to come and, and tell us when things are not going right for them because we're in a really privileged position that we can then be involved in changing policies and guidelines going forward. Thank you Kez, Rabina and Abby. Finally, in our first podcast of 2023, I sat down and chatted with Rakea Nia, our Deputy Associate Director of Nursing and Senior Midwife. We talked about her passion for nursing, her role in the COVID-19 vaccination programme and her delight at the award of the British Empire Medal. It was an absolute shock, I suppose, and the greatest honour that you know a profession or a person could have. But that award, as I have said before, isn't recognising me because I've alluded to my values and what shapes me and what makes me who I am. That is a collective award in my eyes and in my heart of a team, of an organisation, of a system, of a district. I want to say and I feel that that is the right feeling that I have. It's a, an award for us for the work that we did together. So yes, it is a huge honour and it felt wonderful to be of this system, this organisation, to go and receive this national award. But I do so on behalf of us. Thank you, Rakea, for more than 30 years service to the NHS and the people of Bradford and beyond. Well, that's it for this month's update. I look forward to sharing more stories from our hospitals with you next month. Don't forget, all our latest news and updates can be found on our social media channels, Twitter, LinkedIn and Facebook.